What's going on everyone? Cerebral Fire 4. Today I'm going to do something a little different than usual. I just got in a nostalgia mood. Remember I had these around. And I'm just going to show you guys all these Pokemon Pox that I have. And I guess talk about them a little bit. Talk about the history. So, in my country, what we will call those, what we will call these would be Tapes. But I guess in English the word would be Pogs or Caps perhaps. I call them Pogs in English, but uh, maybe for some, these aren't considered uh, Pox. But as you guys can see, I have, uh, have all the starters actually. Got the uh, Venusaur, Venusaur line here. Charizard, of course. This one's a big one. Favorite for many people. Charizard line. I've got the Blastos line too. And I have a lot more others. I guess I'm going to show you guys and talk about them along how I go. So these are from the first generation. And you got these ones that, you know, showcase all of the Pokemon in a line. Like you've got Caterpie, you've got Metapod, and you've got uh, Butterfree. And it glistens as you turn them. Uh, I don't know what, what the word is. I guess glisten is what I'm going to use for English. And then you turn it around. You've got the weaknesses of the Pokemon. you got weak to rock. Uh, oh no, it's effective against rock, ground, and fire. Uh, for Blastoise, we turn over Charizard here. Uh, you are effective against ice, grass, and bug. Oh shit! And yeah, a lot of these are in good condition too. Most of them aren't, but I guess a little bit of a story. So I don't know if uh, people in the United States and UK or other places had these, but back when Pokemania uh, came in our land, at least. Uh, you could buy these potato chips uh, from Lay's or other brands and they would have, you know, you pay 35 cents, Cypriot 35 cents, and you know, you, you get one of these and you, you can find one of these Pokemon Pogs or Caps. And you had the first generation, I've got my Polyrath here, super cool, got Clefairy, got Clefable, got some tentacles and uh, tentacles. I actually have quite a few of these. Uh, the ones that I had multiples, I just put them on top of each other. Uh, I'm not. Di I didn't display everything, but I just have way too many. But this should be a good, you know, demonstration. A lot of them aren't in great condition, but uh, a lot of them are in good condition. I got a Geodude here. The whole line, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. You're weak to, no, you're effective against a lot of stuff. Ice, gra oh, bug, uh, oh no, wait, why does it say water? You're effective against water? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so this is a uh, very old school. A lot of stuff might not be correct. But for the original 150 Pokemon, and then they came out with some other stuff. Got lots of Persians. So I don't know if... Uh, any other people had them, but back in my day, like when I was in school, primary school, eight, nine years old, you know, the whole nine yards, uh, primary years, uh, this was Pokemon Pogs, you know, it was the hottest thing. We wanted to get them, we wanted to play with them, trade them. Uh, we had some games that I guess you could play, and if the one person won, you would get his uh, Pog. And it was pretty. It was a pretty huge phenomenon, giving me back some good memories. Right when everybody cared about Pokemon, you know, when it was a hot thing, uh, good times, when everybody was playing it, everybody was interested in it. And, you know, you had these pocks. Everybody wanted to buy potato chips so they can get them. Got Flareon here. It's actually in good condition too. This one, uh, Fire. You had the same. Things you're effective against, weak to. Uh, it's kind of interesting. So these are the, let's see, uh, it says Tazos. Tazo. Tapes, that's what we used to call them. Uh, Charizard, uh, it also has the two. Got the Nido, Nido Vino here. Uh, but yeah, these are some of the Gen 1 ones. I uh, actually couldn't find, I think. I have Dratini somewhere too. Dratini was my first one, so that's why I really like the Dragonite line, Dratini line, pseudo legendaries. 
because uh, I thought it was really special. You know, there was only one Dragon type Pokemon line in um, first generation, and I think you can only get like Dratini out of them. And uh, I got that. It was my first Pog I ever got. My brother got a nominate. Okay, so these are some of the generation two ones. You got Cyndaquil, you got Cleffa, you got all these guys. And then you had the ones, these ones that, you know, it would be, the first form would be on a sticker, and then you would take it off, and you'd be the evolution, like Houndom in this case. And once again, this guy is like, is he weak to or resists, hits psychics and ghosts? I don't know what these symbols stand for. Something to do with weaknesses and resistances, stuff like that. Okay, uh, but yeah, cool stuff. I just decided to show you. You know, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, the potato chips would cost like 35 uh, cents and you get one of these pogs and I think these go for quite a few dollars actually, a few dollars a piece if you go on eBay and stuff. Uh, then we have some of these newer ones, you know, featuring a bunch of Pokemon. You got this Blastoise fighting the Steelix. Interesting. But yeah, I remember clearly Dratini was my first one, and I really liked it. I was like, yeah, it's like I'm chosen, like Lance, get the dragon Pokemon. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just thought I'd show you show you guys some. I hope you're having fun looking at them. Got this Don fan here with Fanfi. Really good. You got Pile of Swine with Swine Up. You got... Actually, I have two of these. Got Hitmon, Hitmon Dop, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Chan. There's the other one there. Good, good. But what else was I gonna say? Um, I don't know. Uh, then eventually the um, the Metabot stuff will come out in Yu-Gi-Oh when that was hot. I think I should have some of those somewhere, but I just decided to show Pokemon since this is a Pokemon channel anyway. Uh, these ones are cut up. I don't know why, but uh, they're cut up in pieces. You got a Lakazam here and Rapitash. Uh, yeah, this one is completely fucked up because if you if you like left them in the, your pocket and then they will go into the washing machine, they'd be destroyed. Uh, funny story, actually. You know, my bro my my dad would confiscate you know these pogs all the time when we were kids. And uh, he got them because we were arguing and stuff. I don't know what happened. But, you know, he, he got them from us or from me so we could study for school anyway. And then one day a couple of years ago, he's like, hey, let me show you something. And he just gave me these pogs. And I'm like, wow, I thought these were gone years ago. But I guess he still had them somewhere hidden. Uh, but I guess I'm going to show you some of the Gen 3 ones too. Okay, so these are some of the Gen 3 ones. I've got Marsh Stomp and Swampert on the back here. I remember very, very well that this was the actual, this was actually the, the first one I got from Gen 3 too, which is awesome. My favorite starter, one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, the Swampert, Marsh Stomp, Mudkip line. So yeah, uh, these are metallic. These were for Gen 3. These were for Gen 3, and you can get like, there's the Mudkip one with Marsh Stomp on the back, and then you've got the Marsh Stomp with Swampert on the back too. And, yeah, you can see it has Greek, Greek letters, you got the move, uh, it says Attack, Mud Ball, whatever. And then, uh, Water Gun for this dude's attack. And we got you. Uh, fucking the tramp pinches. Does this look? Does this look good? Is like the camera's trying to zoom in a bunch of things. And then on the other side, you got the Brava. And you got Beldum. What is good, dog? With Metang on the other side. Got Pikachu with Raichu. Yeah. Torchic. Yeah, the camera is fucking about. I want it to stay at a consistent zoom, but anyway, with uh, Combustion here. 
got Latias. This one was pretty hot. You got Latias and Latios on the back. Doesn't get more awesome than this. You got Pucciena uh, with uh, Mighty Enna. Okay, another Pikachu. We saw that shit. Got Grovile. Subtile. My boy Absol. And you just had a different artwork if it was a Pokemon that didn't evolve. Pretty fly. Absol, another one of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if other countries, I imagine some other countries in Europe would probably have these. I don't know if people in the United States and Canada ever had, you know, these sorts of things. Like these particular pogs you got in potato chips and stuff. Really good. You know, like I've said, they do go for um, a few dollars, especially if you have them in good condition. I'm never going to sell mine, but, you know, it's just something to keep in mind, I guess, for some people that might have them, maybe you still have them, forgot about them, and want to make a little bit of money. Good stuff. Cacnea with Cacturn on the back. You know, a lot of the artwork is just concept artwork you would see on, you know, the manuals and cards and stuff. Not really spectacular. But, you know, they still look really good. Uh, really cool, quality looking little stuff. Considering they were free in the potato chips. Yep, yep. There's the Trico. With Sepita, with Grovile, shit. My boy, Lilip, with Cradley. Yeah, I'm just so happy that I have a lot of my favorites too. I managed to get a lot of my favorite ones. It's pretty cool. I've got Armalda too somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's Metang again with Metagross. I guess I'll show you one more time. Actually, no, it was Metang and Beldum before. So there's the Metagross. Beldum. You got uh, Illumis. I'm guessing. No, it's still Illumis, not Volbeat on the back. And there's Routes. With Curlia. But yeah, man, good memories, you know, when I was young in school, when everybody was playing Pokemon, you know, when collecting these and playing with these was all the hotness. Good shit, good shit for sure. Amnesia, that's what he does. Amnesia. And Metal, Metal Taz, Dazzo, whatever. I mean, we, we called them Dapes. Uh, I guess... The English word would be pogs or cabs. And we're coming coming to a close pretty soon. I've only got two left or three. There is Love Disc. Pokemon that most people don't give a shit about. Not even in the new games now. That's Grove I like it. Okay, and then the last one. Uh you. I could have sworn I had Armaldo and Anorith too. Like maybe somewhere else, or maybe my brother has them and I forgot, I don't remember. But yeah, I have more over here in the pot, but I'm just not going to take them all out. I guess it's cool that I have starters here. It's cool that I have a lot of the Gen 2 stuff. I think I have a lot more Gen 2 than Gen 3. Yeah, but I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, I think I had a lot more to say, but you know, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this walk down the memory lane, I guess, if this was relevant to you. Uh, I really like my pods. I just decided one day, hey, you know what, uh, show these, just talk about them a little bit. Okay, I rambled long enough. So, everyone, 5-4, and we'll say yeah.